Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Mr Chair, thank you. Uh, I just want to take a, a, a brief moment to make a contribution to the preamble and reiterate uh, Labor's support uh, for uh, the negotiated uh, outcome that has been reached uh, with, uh, with regard to the bill. Um, the preamble is a very succinct um, uh, illustration of the, um, the on-account settlement. Um, but one might be forgiven for reading quite a bit into it uh, because uh, at some point it does afford the opportunity uh, for Kaitoku Prison to be uh, owned by uh, the people of Whanganui, um, or particularly the, the people of Ngāti Apa as I read it. Now, while I wasn't on uh, uh, the select committee, I want to commend uh, their work. And as difficult as it is for them, they weren't able to change too much in the bill. In fact, no changes happened to the preamble at all. Um, but that is uh, probably uh, more a, uh, a, uh, an inheritance of the treaty settlement process and a negotiated outcome between primarily the Crown and Iwi and the Select Committee become more a, um, <clears throat> a sieve, if you like, to try and ensure that the intent of the negotiated outcome uh, it can be articulated uh, correctly in legislation. So what we do have at the most are minor, minor uh, technical amendments but not substantial amendments and that has been the case since this process has started. And while various uh, parliamentarians have at times sought to uh, consider changes in various parts of the bill, um, we recognise uh, the, the, the difficulty in being able to do that. But can I say for the preamble, uh, for that uh, part of this uh, bill, um, I think that the process of setting out clearly what the terms and conditions or, uh, of a settlement in a preamble uh, uh, is, is a good standard for settlement legislation. Um, over time, uh, as our House matures, we might actually see uh, a greater calling of um, bilingual interpretation um, of our legislation, and I can see that that um, will be, over time, something that we, as a House, may see ourselves uh, debating uh, our laws, both in English and Māori. Uh, we have a number of lawyers coming through Whanganui themselves, uh, through that iwi, um, who want to uh, see law written in Te Reo Māori, uh, and indeed one day we may see preambles of uh, treaty settlement le legislation at the minimum uh, translated in that regard. Um, can, I, can I just uh, say that <coughs> in, in response to some of the comments raised by the Green Party member, which I, I do value their contribution to uh, these types of debates, is that um, uh, while uh, the process is difficult, I think by and large once you get to the point where a settlement has been reached and iwi and certainly negotiators recognise uh, along the way that concessions and some sa a great deal of sacrifice um, and some judgments have to be made. But when, by the time that process has been through and got to this stage of the House, um, it, it's my strong view as parliamentarians we should ensure that there is a ro robust process to ensure the legislation aligns to the intent of the deed, uh, to ensure that those voices who uh, don't feel that they were heard through iwi processes have Parliament as a last forum to be able to uh, petition uh, and uh, advocate uh, those interests um, prior to legislation. And, uh, and perhaps uh, as a lasting testament to the leadership of the country, an opportunity uh, for political parties uh, to put a peg in the sand and say where they stand on treaty settlements, which will form the foundation of the, where this country is going. So in my brief contribution to the preamble, it's a succinct uh, summary of the terms and conditions of, of this on-account settlement with Whanganui Iwi uh, regarding Kaitoki Prison. I do want to talk more to the substance of what that affords in terms of opportunities, probably in other parts of the bill. Um, and I'd like to finally uh, re commend uh, the work of the Māori Affairs Select Committee in ensuring that there is a strong alignment between the intent of the settlement with the form of the legislation. Kia ora. Uh,